well, as a supplement, we're supposed to say serving size, but instead of dosage. But uh, the initial cancer patients who took pawpaw took uh, the equivalent of two capsules at a time, four times a day. So it would be like eight capsules a day. And these were initially three ladies, all with terminal ovarian, can ovarian cancer. And they all three vomited. So we gave them too much. And after that, we decided to try half that amount. And we tried half that amount and they didn't vomit. So I'd worked out the initial uh, quantity to take based on dogs, because that's what we had to go on, on beagle dogs. And with the beagles, we got up to uh, 32 capsules at a time, four times a day. And we couldn't kill the dogs. Uh, they just vomited. So I think you can probably take pawpaw up into the amount that causes you to be nauseated and vomiting. And I know that there are a lot of people right now that are taking six and eight a day instead of four a day. And uh, especially if the people are, are heavier, say 200 pounds or more. Uh, if someone's you know, 99 pounds, then probably four a day is enough, and maybe even three a day might do it. But uh, for children, I have just sort of based things proportionally on their weight. If it's a child that weighs 50 pounds with leukemia, for example, uh, we just take a quarter of the amount, say the average adult would be about 170 pounds to 200 pounds, so 50 pounds would be roughly one-fourth of that, so give them the equivalent of one capsule per day. You can pull the capsules apart, divide the little pile of powder into four little piles and put it in some applesauce and kids can take it. How should you space the dosages each day? Well, back in Pharmacokinetics 101 in pharmacy school, you'll learn about blood levels of materials. And if you take an injection of something, for example, the blood level goes right up, but then it falls off. And there has to be a certain blood level, which is the minimum for the material to be effective. So if we can give an oral dose of material and it goes up, say that say the minimum effective level is here and we go up above and we don't want to drop the blood level down below this this level here, we want to give another dose before we get down to that level. We want to keep it up here. We don't want it going down and then coming back up. So that means spacing things out as evenly as possible. So every six hours would be four times a day. Okay. Now the practical side of this is usually breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and bedtime. And with Papa, it's best if you take it with something. You know, drink some milk or eat some food, take it with a meal. Uh, a lot of people slip a couple capsules in their shirt pocket. And if they're away from home and they don't have the bottle, then they can just reach and grab a capsule and take it with their McDonald's hamburger or whatever they're eating, you know. So. <laughs>